Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Yes, at the moment, we give God the glory. We are broadcast everywhere in the world as manifest God. And fully, um, the main station is Christ for the World Missions. We're the main station bringing everything to you out there in the world i just want to pray as i feel the holy spirit your holy spirit come and do your own thing of god in the midst of us as i bow to you let your holy ghost move shall have come by that across the whole land and worldwide i give you praise and i give you glory in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ because when the blood speaks the lord we can't speak more we speak better than anything else. We thank you for the blood this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the people of God say, Amen. 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 We have um, Karen and the children from um, Pakistan this morning. If you are there, um, they want the kids wants to let every say hello to everyone. Are are you there? Say hi. Them, can you spotlight them so we can see them? Yes. Hello. 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 Hi. God bless you. Hello. Hello. Bless you. Hello. Bless you. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> they are trying to speak English. But wrong. Oh, but wrong. Oh, Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This, 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 this woman of God is doing great work in Pakistan with these children. Some of them are orphans. She has good grown up. The father. And, and her, they are the only ones sponsoring these children with their own money. She's working hard. And I believe Jehovah God will make a big way for them. Amen. Jehovah God will make a big way for them already. God has been speaking on their behalf. Amen. Um, this, um, this weekend, miraculously, God is, God is amazing. Miraculously, there is somebody who wants to bless um, her, bless her family, give her some good thing for, for, for business to help her in, in the place. And they just came to me and say, ask me, do you know about her? Because um, we want to help, but we, want, we know that she follows your ministry. And that's one of my daughters in UK that I haven't spoken for almost five years. They've been following us, but we, we don't even know what's going on. And I said, oh, yes, I know her. So everything, I've preached in their place, and I've seen the villages, all of that. And she's doing good work for God. So this weekend, she got a recommendation that she doesn't even realize that God works in mysterious ways. Because there are things that the UK can do, but it cannot be done in their place. And this person, because of the recommendation, is, is she's ready to go, you know, put herself in it and help these people. So when we are helping, we don't know where we are. We are. You don't know who will connect who. You don't know who will meet who. But when God's favor is with you, he will always make the way. And everybody say a big amen. 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 I hear a better one. Amen. 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 You, 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 you realize that we are in September and we are we are actually manifesting God. Can I hear the God in you? Can I hear? Hey. Can I? Can I? Hey. Can I hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 
How many hey, of you man. know that in the spiritual realm, every time you say hallelujah, great things happen, when you hallelujah. say hallelujah, hallelujah. it gets here established. Hallelujah. How many of you know that? Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Yes. Hey. Uh, my dear Minister Femi, you are turned the other way. Can you turn yourself around? Yes. <laughs> you have turned it around. You know, the technology. Yes, that's right. Because you see, I, you see, I keep an eye on you. Everywhere you are, I'm still watching you. <laughs> Give God the glory. That's that's the fatherly heart. You're always looking out for your kids, making sure they are fine. Some may say that you are over overdoing, but believe me, it's better to overdo than underdo. You know, it's, when it's, it's your cup is flowing over, it's better than your cup is sinking. No. So when you get a father or a mother or a parent who is over doing thank god when they reduce it you still come to the level Amen. but when they are doing and they reduce you come to nothing so over is always good overflow because the overflow my cup ran it over Amen. hallelujah Amen. Amen. Now look at Amen. somebody around you and tell them today is your deal Today is your day. Today is your day. You will manifest God. You will manifest God. You will manifest God. You will manifest God in all aspects of your life. Because today is your day. Amen. How many of you know that when before any human being can be a human being, it started from when God breathed into man, a man became a living soul. When God actually deposited himself in us, then that is where you became, you are alive. When God is not inside you, you are actually not alive. When that breath came into you, that made you alive from the beginning. And now, when, when, when he says the day that you will take of this tree of good and knowledge, when you take of it, you die, you lose me, you lose the God in you. So somebody takes it and, and the, the God in, in, in the person redraws and he carries on. And then so, and God came back and he says that I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Even though in the garden of Eden, the devil came to still kill and destroy you. I have come now Oh, hallelujah. And to give you life and give you more abundantly. And anybody that raises hand and accepts the Lord Jesus Christ, the breath of God has entered you again. Amen. You are inside. He has entered. And God has come back. God in the, he has come into your flesh. And now from the, the scripture says, no more you but him that works in you. Amen. It's no more you. So, so God has taken over. When you get born again, the Bible says that you were born of the spirit. It means that spirit that was breathed into you that was lifted, now you have this back inside and you suddenly, you have become, become a, a living being. The true people who are alive today. Today, they are the people who have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. So, what did Jesus says one time when they were a man, they want to, he has come to Jesus and then he says, I want to go and bury my parent and come back. And Jesus says, Leave the, the person is already dead in the place, but let those, the dead bury their own dead. Means he doesn't even see them, uh, anybody who hasn't accepted the Lord Jesus as alive. But you, if you are hearing me well right and you are not born again, first thing you need to do, it's not a bargain, just get born again, simple. It takes you a very short time because it is appointed unto man once to die after that judgment. It is not about what is, 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 is you die or you won't die. It is appointed you will die one day. You will die one day from this flesh. But it matters whether you are alive or not. Anybody who is alive, the Bible says that, those who are alive who will not, will not even face, see death again. Jesus said, the death that he's talking about is the spiritual death. You can't, you, you, are not, you, are, you are not afraid of physical death because it's nothing, because you never die. The power that when you got born again, you are alive forever. And somebody say amen. 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 I want to hear you say amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Church, I have, to I have to tell you something, yes. I have to really, really tell you because things are changing and we have to be like a bit more like you know how it's supposed to be and more. The, the lot with statistics that I have made since last year, November, I've seen and I know Christ temple people who are God has called to reach out the whole world. 99% of the, the people in Christ temple actually are not ready to go inside the, the building. Yes, I, I know what I'm saying. I've, I've done everything. And the number of people that I get who wants to come back, they, we, I don't even want to say it, but it doesn't matter. You're not ready, you're not ready. It doesn't matter to me at all. But if you know people not ready to go out there into the church, you are in church. Is somebody hearing me? You are in church. You are in God's house. When God's time comes, it's God's time. So child of God, you've got to be and understand and believe where you are standing. You are not sitting at home. At this moment, you are in church. And because Jesus said, that the, the time is coming where the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Very, very important. So wherever we are, you are, you are on the church without walls, the anointing is moving on the waves. Manifest God is all about meeting people. See, now we are in Pakistan and all these people are listening to me. If, if, if I was just sitting in, in, in one place, they are listening to me. America, the whole night, I have been actually had really full sleep because I've been on, on online. Even as we are here, my phone was ringing from Israel. But that is the work. It's, it's, it's amazing. So whether you are in a church building or you are not in a church building, you are the church. And everybody must now really understand and dedicate the time to go. Start building your altar. Stop building your altar because look, I personally, nothing stops me, really. <laughs> Church building doesn't stop me. Uh, uh, home doesn't stop Car inside the car doesn't stop me. Jesus is Jesus. That's what you heard. You heard uh, 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 Bishop Queen say, I'm crazy, crazy for Jesus. And every little thing, I don't take anything lightly. I don't take God lightly. I can't, I, because I can't do anything without him. So tell God. When I say hallelujah, I want to hear people shouting, no distractions. You can't, when we're in church building, sometimes you go to the toilet and come, you go and tea, cafe, it's fine. But you don't stay into the toilet for the whole service, or you don't do anything. You can't, you won't be talking on your phone during for church service. All these things, we have to now set ourselves ready. Set ourselves ready. When and compliance is, is met in the temple. And I, I personally will be ministering from there because I'm believing God and I, I'm inside. Those who come inside, fine. Those who be everywhere, it doesn't change anything. So far as we give God what we call reverence. Reverence, when God gets a reverence, sorted. Sorted, no problem at all. It is sorted. We can be anywhere and worship God, but must be in spirit and what? Let me hear you. In truth. In, truth. in spirit and in what? In, in truth. truth. In spirit and in what? In, in truth. truth. In spirit and in what? In, in truth. truth. In spirit and in what? In, in truth. truth. In spirit and in what? In, in truth. truth. I say in spirit and in what? Jesus manifest God through your voice. I said in spirit and in what? How do we say in truth in Yoruba? Yoruba, how do you say in truth? Oto. Aha, Oto. Oto is a food in Ghana that I eat. Now, next. How do you say it in Hausa, in truth? Geskia. Geskia. Mm -hmm. huh. Powerful. Geskia. Now, how do we say it in tree? 
No No No, no if take, take Fanti and she will come differently, please, because it's, it's, they are missing the two. I live with a Fanti woman in this house. So I know when it's sounding Fanti, it's sounding tree. So in tree, how do we say it? No cre. No cre. Cre. That's tree. Now the Fanti, how do we say it? Quale. Eh? Ano qual, ano qual. You have to put quar in there. Ano qual. Ano qual, but what about yes. the I? Ano qual I. There's no eye. No. There's no eye. Okay, that's fine. Now, it's how do we say this now? Yeah. I didn't show up. Ga. No quality. 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 And how do we say it in uh, uh, ever, ever? That's patient's it, it, one. It, it, say it's it's two. It's two. We have Anukwale and Nyatepe. So we want I like the Nyatepe. Yeah, we want the Nyatepe. <laughs> <laughs> the the Anukwale is look more like tree, but mm. Nyatepe is very powerful. That's it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. 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 And the Patua, Patua is who's this Patua here? Yeah. And Barbados, <laughs> Barbados, you need to know how to say it. <laughs> Barbados one is very cl close. It's very close to the Sierra Leone one. Crew. Oh. <laughs> so, Pastor Ben, how do you say it in the, the uh, Sierra Leone one, the other language? Um, in the Mende language, we call, we say, Tony, Tony. Tony. Thank you. Yes. Good. Yeah, that's the truth. You you haven't lost your accent, have you? <laughs> <laughs> because I was feeling some English in the Tony. I could feel yeah. some English background. I believe if your mother was to say it, it would have shaken it uh, stronger. <laughs> but Tony will take it like that. Yeah. You know, True. and now yeah. if I call the language, this won't finish. But uh, L, tell us in the um, there is there's English English dialects, not in our one, not in Africa English. Say it the way they will say it. Why are you smiling? Say, because you've been correcting us in this house, and I don't book that those corrections. Because you got you got it you got it perfect. It's truth. I got it perfect. Yeah, yeah in truth. Yeah, in truth. Yeah, true. just in. In truth, in truth, is it in truth? Or in truth, in truth. Okay, because when I'm I'm trying to say it your way, my leg shakes, it goes up. But thank God. Now, I believe you have engaged everyone here. Now, we have to worship the Father in what? In spirit and what? In, in truth. truth. The dimension of what God wants to do today, it is not to do with where you stand or where you sit. It's what you choose. That's what I've been saying last week. Let's let's go to Psalm 103 and read a few verses for us. Psalm 103. El, can you come up a bit? I need to, uh, El, can you come whilst we are planning Psalm 103? Can you come up? Karen, in your, your um, Pakistan language, how do you say in truth? How will you say it, Karen? Oh, sorry, brother. Uh, please speak again. Because of when you say truth, truth, yeah, truth. How do you say it in your language? Truth. Hello. Speaking the truth, how do you say it in Pakistan language? Okay, Pakistan language. <laughs> okay, brother. Uh, actually, nah, my Pakistan language is, uh, you know, too much. But, it's uh, not but wonderful, and... just like Pastor Ben. Yeah, I know. Hanji, but she put Mushkil feel karte, so it's liye fir na that. So then, uh, I am also speak uh, Pakistani language, but uh, uh, hello. Hello, yes. Okay, so now. 
Read Psalm 103 for us, please. Psalm 103. Uh, yeah, start from the beginning. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that is within me, holiness. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgets all your iniquities? Hallelujah. Who all your diseases. Mm. Who redeems your life from destruction. That's right. Who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercy. Hallelujah. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so mm. that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. The Lord Praise executes. God. The it's Lord. fine. Hold on here. If I need you to go on, we will carry on. Okay, thank you. Now, in this particular verse, it's telling us of the benefits of the Lord God for all of us. The benefits. The benefits that we have. Benefits that we have. And the, these benefits are so many. The benefits are so powerful. The benefits are so gracious. The benefits are uncountable. For somebody to obtain this benefit, he must understand that the benefits must, you have to make a choice. And the choice is very clear when um, we hear uh, um, the, uh, our, our psalmist saying, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Child of God, to manifest God, it is not theory. Somebody say manifesting God is not theory. Manifesting God is not theory. Can I hear you again? Manifesting God is not theory. God is not theory. I say manifesting God is not what? Theory. 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 Manifesting God, um, tell somebody, is practical. Manifesting God, God is practical. Say again, manifesting God is practical. Manifesting God is practical. Somebody say, manifesting God is practical. Manifesting God is practical. You know, when you want to manifest God practically, you must face a situation and overcome the situation practically. A child of God overcomes the situation practically. And it is not to do, you know, nobody, nobody has less uh, uh, time in this world than others. Everybody has been given as, as, as 24 hours a day. And everybody has been given the same word of God that God has given to everyone. And wh wh whatever we see around us, we can, when we don't change it, we decided not to change it. We decided, it's a decision that we make not to change it. It is not because it cannot be changed. Every situation can be changed because bless the Lord, oh my soul, who has given us all the benefits. Even he says he renews your, 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 your life like a youth. He renews it. There's a renewal in the blessing. He has given us so many, many, many blessings. And child of God, when we look at these blessings, when we see them, and God's word says that, oh, this is yours. You can have this. This all these benefits are yours. You know that if you cannot see it in your life, God didn't lie. God never lied. If somebody hasn't taken it. And from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and we shall take it by force. You know why I'm telling you this? First of all, I'm going to deal with something very important. Very, very important. First thing. First things first. Now, anyone that are close to you, whether it be your children, whether it be your cousins, aunties, every day, mothers, and whoever close to you who do not know Christ is one and they are around you. The Bible says when you are saved, you and your home are saved. So you have a power, power to, to, to stand on, to claim, to claim them to Jesus Christ. So that power is in your hands. Now, that 
can change. And if it's too difficult for us to believe that, a lot of things will be difficult for us. It is not difficult, but are we ready to make the challenge and the choice to say that this person, I'm never going to call this person an unbeliever again. I'm never going to, from the day that today, Hey, I'm going to speak into their lives. I'm only going to thank God that God has already saved them. And because that is his verses and they are coming in. And we, I'm thanking God and praising him till the manifestation that I have spoken come to pass. I'm never going to ever call this person that is a non-believer. I'm never going to go to the altar when they ask for prayer that I'm going to ask again and say that my, 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 my family members, they are unbelievers. Immediately, when you believe and you say, you now have to act it as the word of God has said. And when Jesus Christ told the lepers to go and show themselves to the priest, whilst they're on their way, their body gets cleansed. When you begin to believe and begin to walk the walk, you begin to see the answer. So first supernatural thing that is going to happen is that everyone around you who are very close, who seems to not be born again, today, by the power of the highest, you are manifesting the God inside you. Every good and perfect gift comes from God and is inside you. Those ones are definitely going today. We are going to make it. You're going to talk it. You're going to say it. They are born again. And begin to thank God. And within these 91 days, you'll see you are there. They will be chasing you. They will be chasing you. They will say things will start chase, changing. That is one. The second level of what we need to take authority over it are the lukewarm, lukewarm um, believers around us. If it's been our children, they are already believers. Then they have declared they are not their own believers, but they are very lukewarm. They haven't taken God as serious as God's name is. They haven't taken God in them. They, may, they give God a second place or a third place or fourth place. They're born again. But you want the spirit of God to begin to work in them. You take in the God from you and you start speaking to their lives. They are already born again. You start speaking into their lives and you start telling them what Jehovah God has said, what you have said. You practically start talking into their life on a daily basis and the spirit of God will start igniting them. When you, you, you can look at, you see, the power of God is so practical that when you see, it says, it says so many things, a lot of people, their heart yearns to see it happen. And so if the heart man believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation, there is a heart situation, but when you want to bring it to pass, you have to really practically say it. So with, with my heart one believes, if the mouth the confession is made unto salvation, the belief is in the heart. There's so many Many people believe in their heart. And the manifesting God, the practical side, is to tell the, the, the stone not to, to, to wake up and worship God. You to be command things to not be the practical side of it. God has given your heart is already believing. The only next level left to manifesting is to practically speak into it and practically start seeing it happen. Because, you know, there, there are so many things that uh, today the body of Christ is carrying and they have turned it into just wishes and they are waiting for the waters to be stirred. When the water is stirred, then somebody should carry them and put them in the water. And when they get into the water, they will definitely see the situation left. Oh, yes, I'm waiting for the stirring of the water. Water. But how many of you know that the time of stirring of the water can take you 38 years? But when Jesus Christ today, the word of God has come to you, when he says, arise and walk, oh, come on. Do you want to be well today? Do you want to be well? Do you want to be okay? Do you want that situation to change? Do you really mean it? Are you ready to see the miraculous happen in your life? It's not about waiting for somebody. It's not waiting for, take up. it's a time for you, child of God. It's a 
time for the body of Christ to begin to take up our bed rather than begin to explain uh, how the situation, how bad it is, uh, how we don't get uh, uh, people to help us, how we don't get uh, uh, any help, uh, how people have not been uh, grateful to us, uh, how, how our mothers have treated us, how our fathers have treated us, how uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the job, uh, the conditions have treated us, uh, how the pandemic has caused us. Uh, it is not about that. Uh, God uh, is right before you. The word of God is right in front of you. Uh, and tell him when he's asking you, do you want to be well? Uh, it is not about history. It is about the present. Uh, and I want to say that uh, manifesting God takes authority. From the time of John the Baptist, they said the kingdom of God suffering by the balance of taking by force. And you're going to take it by force. You're going to move into it. Uh, you know, there is nothing that God cannot do. Uh, but there is everything that man sits down and wait for and waiting that, oh God, come and uh, lift it up for me. Uh, he says, so with God, all things are possible. You have to be with God. You and I must be with God for something uh, to happen. Uh, you must be with God uh, for the supernatural to take place. Uh, you must have testimony. Living testimonies can cause uh, great changes in many lives and can cause uh, people who are down to be up, people who are worried to be awake, people who have lost their way to find their way because uh, we have living testimonies. Uh, we cannot live like children of God and still carry problems and carry. God didn't say that you should carry any problem. He says, come unto me in all in that labor and I'm heavy laden and I will give you rest. Now, the reason why certain things are still being there because you are still calling them what they, you are calling them. When people call things, certain things, they get it. They call it because Abraham, yes, he called things which are not as if they were. It is that he wanted to see which were in there. He called them to be. And when that is why we call the man of faith. Now, when we are in this kingdom and the time to uh, demonstrate God's power, it is not by, you know, uh, um, uh, sitting back and watching. You know, the, the, the climate here, because I'm speaking to the world, but I'm, I have to be clear, uh, clear to say where the climate, where I stand. The climate where I stand here in Europe, uh, it is a matter of, uh, oh, let everybody, you know, when they are even going to uh, uh, the ditch, let's leave them because they have their own, let's leave them to the ditch. But when they go into the ditch, they, I am the one to go and pick them. If I know that if you are in the ditch, when you you put yourself in a problem and then I, it's only I'm the only one to come and push you and lift you and take you then I must as well prevent you from going to the ditch and that is why the word of God is quick and sharper than any true edge sword it divides between the soul and spirit and to the bones and marrow and to the Hallelujah. and I want to tell you child of God if somebody tells you that when you are speaking under the anointing the anointing will not destroy the yoke it's a joke when you speak to a child under the anointing they take it when you speak to a child under anger, they will not take it. When you sit to a child and you speak under the power of the Holy Ghost and you say, this is not the way, they will understand that this is not the way. And are we ready to change things around us? Are we ready to call things which are not as if they were? Because the supernatural, it comes with people who are determined to call things which are not. We, who are selfless and ready, who, who believes and trusts the name of the Lord, who is not ready to for people to have pity on. I'm not ready for anybody to have pity on me. If I have challenges, I tend it to God. And I don't want people Amen. to, I want to, you know, so many people want uh, to be admitted. So the sickness that is in their body, they don't ever even want let it go. When the Bible is saying that, that the weak say, I'm strong, child of God, I want to tell you, uh, when you begin to say that I am stronger, you will be stronger. When you Hallelujah. say it, you will be. Because Jesus has already said it. Uh, and when he says, when he says it, you boldly say it. Hallelujah. You say Amen. it boldly. And I want to mm -hmm. tell you that pity and all her, all that like the man he says, look, I've been here for 38 years. Who cares about 38 years? Jesus Christ is here right now. Mm -hmm. The one who makes the water to be stirred by an angel, he himself, he has, he has not gone to the water. He has come to you. He has not gone into the oil that you are looking for to be anointed on your head. He is the one that, who is the main oil. The oil stands before us, child of God. It is about time. Oh, he has given us so many benefits. Amen. Oh my God. Woman of God, read the benefits again from the same beginning. And now when you call one, and I want somebody who, who, who wants to grab it, just say amen. When you call one of you, just say amen. That's it. Call Boshata. 
Bless hey, the Lord, are you there, oh my God. soul. And forget not Bless the Lord, oh my ministry. soul. Yes. Amen. 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 Forgives all Amen. Of your iniquities. Amen. Hold on. Amen. Hold on. Hold on. He forgives what? All oh, your iniquities. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Did I hear amen to that? Amen. 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 Oh my God. You guys, you don't even know how many iniquities you have. That's why you are not saying a big amen. You don't know. You don't have any iniquities. You don't have any iniquities at all. You don't need any iniquities. Amen. Is that what's happening here? Amen. Amen. And what kind of a privilege that so for the Lord who forgives all your iniquities, not one. Amen. 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 Somebody must be shouting a bigger amen because Amen. 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 <laughs> iniquity, believe me, the word iniquity is going to you, you have to don't have to cross your street to be to, mm -mm. to, to, to get it. You don't. Mm -mm. Sometimes you are you are speaking in tongues, and iniquity is going through you. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Then you remember somebody who really hurt you because something came to pass it. <laughs> so this guy, man, if I go him out, snap. You have said it in your head already, and still praying. Mm. <laughs> and you have this privilege. That he forgives all your iniquities. All of it. Hmm. Not some of it. Come on, somebody say a big amen. 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 When a child of God says, I am free, you are really free because when God has forgiven your iniquities, what else can hold you? Mm -hmm. What else? Next, next one, please. Who heals all your diseases? Amen. Who Amen. heals all Amen. your diseases? Amen. Not some of it. Amen. I want you to move your feet. I want to Hallelujah. change your body. Hallelujah. I want you to turn around. Because Hallelujah. every Hallelujah. kind of disease Hallelujah. that is Hallelujah. inside you, the Bible Hallelujah. says that he, is, he, he, he heals all of it. I want you to physically, wherever you are now, shake yourself. Move your hands, move your legs, move your feet, turn around. Now, every sickness, every sickness, he says he heals all your diseases. Today, he has said it. He has done it. Somebody believes in him. Somebody say amen. 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 The diseases that are in your body, Jesus. the diseases that has ever been in your body, he heals all of them. And Amen. if there is disease Amen. is also coming in front of you, he heals them all because the word of God is yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesterday, Hallelujah. today, and forever. Hallelujah. Somebody say yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. yesterday. Today. Today. today, and forever. Forever. The practical side of it is don't when you pray today, when we finish praying today, any any kind of uh, um what do you call it? A, a diagnosis or symptoms that you have ever faced in your life or there, anything that has been tagged to you from today, today. After he heals all your disease, he didn't leave some of it. Oh. From today, start thanking God, thanking God. That's what we call manifesting God. You yeah. thank God till you see yeah. the manifestation. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. And Amen. the only way through is also to thank him to see the manifestation. Amen. You, you, you know, uh, well, Bishop Queen, you know something? Amen. I'm not going to ask you to uh, cook me any of the fancy food. That's not what I'm asking you. But the key word here that I want everybody to know is the word forget not. Mm. Do, do you feel anointing when I said that? Hallelujah. Forget not all his benefits. The only reason why the manifestation of the benefits of God has been manifested and people are not seeing it because they are forgotten who they are. They have even forgotten mm -hmm. that God gave it to them. The benefits are there. Did somebody imagine, let's look at you, you are on a benefit and they transfer the benefit into your account and you needed money so much and you have mm -hmm. forgotten that they have given you benefits. The benefit is in your account and you are totally forgotten. 
So you are walking around and you that's the only reason why you be hungry. It's not because the benefit is not in your bank. The only thing that you need to do is to open the account and take the money and use yes. it. Yes. That's all it is. So the benefits of God, they, if anyone is not seeing it, is because they have forgotten it. And the reason why they have forgotten it is they have forgotten to even thank God for it. How can mm -hmm. you are thanking God for something, you know you got it. And when you are thanking him for it, in advance, you know, so you go looking for it, expectation. You are in expectation. The Bible says your expectation will never be cut off. Amen. Somebody say a big hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 In the supernatural realm, angels of the Lord come around to minister to the heads of salvation in services like this. So when you dedicate any time for God, he also dedicates a living life wire between you and him. There is a man of God in Church of Pentecost years ago who um, took a, 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 a this thing, a maid servant who, this maid servant is the queen of the witches and it's a small girl. And this, this man of God dedicated midnight hour, every one hour in the midnight, he will come and kneel down and pray in the front of the house and pray. And then they send this maid servant specifically to, to go and deal with him because this the man of God is destroying their demonic things in the village. And when they went to the meeting, they said, now, why have you, you the queen, you have so much power. Why are you not being able to handle this man? And he said to them, the, the man prays, when he prays, as soon as he, he kneels down to pray, an angel of the Lord come and put some fire line. It's a, it's a, it comes from heaven to down. And I can't go near it because I have to cross it to him. And they said, okay, now you are the queen here. So let's invite other powers from different countries to join you. Then have a meeting to see what we can do to this man of God. And they came around, then they put all their powers together and put it in a, in a spiritual scissors and gave it to him. It says, the best thing is, because we have to cross this thing, we have put some power in this scissors. When the, the angel comes to put the line up and blocks it, because then they have a time to pray. They, the man must sleep for them to come. And that same time, the, the, the time they come is when he prays. And he took the they took the scissors, all the combined Dakar, uh, Senegal, all the, all the African countries, uh, their witches came to Ghana and they joined and gave the scissors. Mm -hmm. And maybe Europe, Europe, Europe witches as well, because for somebody to have an idea of the scissors, it's, it's, it's a Europe witch. You know, so they put the thing together and they said that go well, because Europe is taking technical, you know. So it's when put a scissors and cut. You think it's that easy? So then, um, the worst thing where you saw is they, they look at things natural. So then the woman, the child went. The child is a woman, but it's a child. And in the night, when he finished praying, and um, she went with the scissors, made all the incantation. When he touched, he touched the the the, the life wire with the scissors. It's the strike her, strike her, and she first she started screaming physically. This time, this guy is screaming. <laughs> the man of God too doesn't know what has happened. They call, Father God, they pray, 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 pray. Then the, the child is saying, stop it, stop it. Stop the prayer, he says, stop the prayer. He says, hurting me more when you pray. He says, no. The man says, prayer will set you free. He says, no, I, I stop it. Let me talk, let me tell you. You don't know what is wrong. Let me tell you because you, I'm feeling more pain the more you pray. And I so what is it? He says, I'm the queen of the witches. I'm the queen of the witches, the small girl. And we are sent to come and kill you. 
I've been trying everything and describe everything. They gave me this scissors to come and cut the wire. Even the man of God didn't even realize there was a wire there. Holy Ghost fires there. And that when I cut it, it hit me. And then the man of God says, then you need more prayer. <laughs> if the, if the, you need actually what you say, I should stop. You need more prayer because this witchcraft must leave you. You live in my house here, this witchcraft, then they, they prayed and lose this child from the uh, spirit of witchcraft. The whole village had it. And they were saying, send her out of the house. You've seen her, it's a witch. He says, she has been in my house for about three, four years. He couldn't hurt me when, when witchcraft was inside it. And how much more now that I've cast that spirit out? I've cast that spirit out. You are not resting against flesh and blood, against peace, but I've dealt with them. God has already been watching over me. And that midnight prayer. So child of God, every time you have dedicated the time to God, like you have come to church now, make sure that your angels, everything is in line. Make sure everyone and bring all your children that are in the house, let them tell everyone. That's the discipline. Tell them to come and be blessed. If you have one blessing, you add one child to two blessings, another one there, three blessings. When you are taking a blessing and they are uh, they're sucking it out, they are sucking it out when they don't pay attention to God. God doesn't share his glory with any man. So the tapping of the anointing of the benefit, it comes with thankfulness and gratefulness. And it's a, the, the highest level of gratefulness is reverence. When you don't see God, but you know he's there. You don't see him. That is what we call faith. Faith on sin. Things that are not in sin, but you believe they are there. When God, you know that God has come into the temple and is sitting here with me. I have to give him the full attention. If we know that God is the one speaking, we have to give God the full attention. So forget not his benefits. Some people have been paid for some money long time ago, but they have been forgotten that so I put some money somewhere and they are looking for money. There's everything that you are looking for, we have it already. Somebody say, I have everything. I have everything. Say, I have everything. Do you know why you have everything? Because you have Jesus, we have everything. Amen. You have Jesus, we have everything. You are not, you don't lack anything. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It may get me to lie down in green spaces. Those, those scriptures are not easy scripture. They are real. They are true. And I'm bringing the anointing that we are talking of in this last days. It's practical. It's very, very practical. And look, God, when you are set to really reverence God in what you are doing. When you, you, you face a challenge, God will take you out. Amen. God will definitely take you out. Amen. Now, the, the process that God is doing now is our Jerusalem must be dealt with because he has come to a worldwide level. Our Jerusalem, our Judea, our close people that are around us, we got to get them in, in place. Every minister, those of you who have children, you have got children, you got to this, look after, look after them, not in money, not just money, give them money, look after them spiritually. Call them, pray for them, give them scriptures. Don't take your, your, your children for granted that, oh, this is my child. Sometimes the people more around you, you don't minister to them. The people that are around you, you may, the most people that you care about. Look, when the, 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 the defeated virus came around, only thing that everybody cares about is their, their own family, everyone that will be fine. Relationship was number one on top. You want your, your, everybody to be okay. That is in the spiritual realm. Everybody must be okay. Don't say, oh, it's my wife. So I'm preaching to others. So my wife, I, I don't give my wife any scripture. No. I have to lecture her the word of God more than anyone. Because if, if, if I don't, it will be like um, um, Adam and Eve. Eve will go and take the, 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 the thing will come unknowingly. And then I will foolishly also eat it. So I, I, needed to, I need to teach her. And when she gets revelation, I have to also learn from her revelation. You can't say she got a revelation and your husband is there. You're not telling your husband. 
and you keep keeping the, the revelation. You only keep too much revelation, you, you blow up. You know, so the people, your kids, they will say maybe you talk too much, but that's that's fine. Let the word of if you are talking and encouraging, it is not too much. You still give them every bits and pieces here. You you inspire them because some of them will, will, are suffering, but they won't tell you. Some of them are <laughs> suffering. Their kids go to school and they come. You don't know what has happened to them. Sit them down, pray for them. Some some of your God children, you have you have asked of them for many many years. So you they, they don't even know God. You have found your Godfather. Godfather, wake up! You know, is God gave you a purpose? You got to start dealing with your Jerusalem every time. That's how we are starting money, and it's practical. Child of God, when Noah time time came here, yeah, and he was spreading in the news and telling what God wants to do, people were mocking at at him. But the day really came. I want to tell you that you have been called and chosen for this final uh, 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 new times, the, the next seven years, God is going to bless the, uh, the church so much, going to bless, it's going to move so much. But the challenges too are going to be heavy. It's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a two-sided thing, but you are an overcomer. So that is what you are. So I'm telling the children of God to start preparing and taking care of your home, taking care of us, start praying for them. Your, 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 your word that you will send. This, uh, some people, they, all they do is, the, the, what they are doing with their WhatsApp messages is only one thing. They, they are deleting everything that comes off. They are deleting. Everything comes, they won't read, they will just delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it. Today, when 4 a.m. I was praying, I said, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I speak unto all the WhatsApp. I clean it in the blood of Jesus. I said the only good things will stay. They are deleting the scriptures and not giving anything to anyone. They are not giving anything to anyone, but taking everything and deleting them. And so you think that, oh, I've sent this one thing. They have read it. They know it. No, we will not be quiet. The time has come. God has empowered you. You, have, you. you are so much powerful. So much powerful. Hmm. You are so much powerful. You are, you are more stronger than you think. You are more stronger. You and I, we are very powerful. And today we are going to pray. In in, in, in few minutes we're going to pray, and uh, um, because I don't want to go into the next next realm, we need to first of all not forget his benefits by being thankful and grateful to God, being thankful and grateful, and manifest what God has said in you, and then think of all your relatives. You can let go your house and leave your people and say that you'll be nice. Some people are more nicer to friends out there than their own uh, 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 friends, uh, the very close families in home. They more, if they say they need help, they will run to them. When they have their own people need help, they don't, they, they don't even want to know, they take them for granted. When you are taking people for granted, you are taking yourself for granted and then you are we are putting that same thing on God, putting so because when bad things happen, it doesn't glorify God. When good things happen, it glorifies God. And God wishes about God things that you be prosper, you prosper and being healthy, even as your soul prospered, all of us. God wants us that. I want to energize the church of God. Go check your home. Check your home. It might not be this day technology. Don't spend time looking for chasing, chasing money, 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 and forget the very loved ones inside. Because when something goes wrong, it will come back to you. You go all the way back. You see that everything you are doing, you have wasted because you don't love it as much as you love it. That is the truth. The truth is inside you. But the children of God, let us not take anybody for granted. They need Jesus. Give them Jesus. And those who have Jesus, keep on feeding them with the word. Exchange the word of God. Call your, your wife. Call your husband. Call your daughter. Call your son. Call the, the, your cousins, the people that matters. Call your mother. Call your father. So send them some encouraging words. Make sure the state of their mind is, is clear. Don't take anyone for granted. Don't look at things and say that now it's too late. Everybody needs somebody. Look, when somebody says something on, on WhatsApp and people say amen, you feel good. If when you say something and they are quiet, you don't like it. Everybody wants an encouragement. Encouragement can change lives. And we don't have to think of ourselves. It's a, it's a situation where God gave you to give you and you give out. 
and that is a manifestation of God. The, this year, don't go and let this year pass without any of us letting somebody accept Jesus mm -hmm. by you saying the words that I accept the Lord Jesus and they say, don't let this year go. If you have one soul, it's not saved. It's a, it's a serious situation. If you can't even bring one soul to the Lord, but how could you get to be a fish of men when you are not, you are in the sea rather than be on the land? The Lord God wants us to energize ourselves. We cannot live like we don't know the benefits that is giving us. We're going to pray a prayer. And when we pray this prayer, I don't want you to pray it again. I don't want you to live like the, uh, uh, be a, a pity for people to always, oh, I need help, I need help for me, I'm this for me. You are nothing than what Jesus said you are. You are bubbly and I uh, never believe you are a chosen child of God and the crown of glory is upon you. You are a chosen generation, a holy priesthood. When God Jesus said what we are, that is what we are. That Amen. is what the superstar says. That's what you are. You are nothing little. And don't people don't endorse people making themselves smaller than what Jesus made them. Once they are saying the negative, you are comforting them with the positive, and gradually you make bring them to where they are. Don't shout on them and say, "Hey, look! Didn't you hear? Uh, Apostle says you don't have to behave like this." No, 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 no. That's not Holy Ghost. If you do that, you kill the spirit. You are trying to tell them even they are wrong again. No, just, my dear, I understand how you feel. Everybody feels that, but you know, we don't go by our feeling. We go by the word of God. I pray that I'll strengthen you. Let us begin to pray, begin to see things in a different way, begin to talk in a different way, begin to let us believe in a different way, and then let, let them begin to bring them back. And then you see suddenly with encouragement, how many times haven't you heard people encouraging you and your, your crying has turned into laughter? God is always ready to use somebody. And now before, before we go to the utmost part of the earth, we will need to deal with our Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria. We need to deal with that. And that Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, it needs a bigger anointing than the one in the world worldwide. It needs a bigger anointing. If you are breaking yokes in Jerusalem, it's the most serious place to, to deal with because that is the rock. That is the hardest one. Because the more the people know you, the more they don't take you seriously. So that's the hardest one. So when you break your Jerusalem, oh, worldwide is very easy. Very, very easy. Your Jerusalem, your Judea. You pray for your children. Pray with them. Give them Bible studies. Let them study it. Give them to them. You know, one day when they need it, some may, they may not open. But one day, give it to them. One day, you know, because I cannot be a priest to millions of people, and I'm not a priest to my own children. I have to give the word. I have to speak to them every day. They must see the Holy Spirit. They must see the anointing. They must see what I'm saying. It's in practical. They got to live by it. And you on board the Zoom people, you are the children. You, that you need to know. And then we so that the people who are watching this world, by the Spirit of God will begin to use us to touch their lives. It's about time. Now, I want you to stand on your feet because we are going to pray. It's, it's 12.20 now. We are going to pray. And this prayer is what we call manifest God prayer. He healed all thy diseases. He forgiveth all thy iniquities. Look, there is, even he renewed your youth. Like an eagle, he renewed. It means your, your whole cells get renewed. Now, I want you to lift your right hand wherever you are. And... Don't be distracted by any circumstance or by any means. Don't be distracted. I want everybody also to unmute because if you are inside a building, you cannot mute your mouth, you know? So just everybody unmute and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I've taken your blood today. I have received life and power. I have received life and power into my spirit. Into my spirit. Into my soul. Into my soul. 
and into my body. I am well. I am in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. At this time, at this minute, this minute, I'm about to make declaration. I'm about to make declaration, and that declaration is going to bring wonders in my life. And that declaration is going to bring wonders in my life. Permanently done. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now let us put, we are going to put all these things together. One, God has forgiven you your iniquities, all your iniquities. Don't ever have anything that many years ago is still been haunting you. It's gone. And then we, we pray it once today, never again. We are going to pray also into your body. Your body is well in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You're not going to actually pray about it again. You're just going to thank God every time. Anything that you pray for it once, it's not, you're not going, you are not that person. You don't have Amen. it anymore. Oh, yeah. So you just thank God. Amen. You are not what you, you have said. We, now, thirdly, we are going to now pray to, into our loved ones and friends and relatives and people that the power of God, those who have not been saved, that we see them really thinking that they are not being saved today. We are asking the salvation power of God for Jesus to reveal himself to him, and Amen. it is done. And Amen. we also pray for the ones that have been saved, that are the, the lukewarm, that's in sin. They haven't been committed to God. They, they just come in and out. It's like you can see that the, the power of spiritual health is gone. We're going to pray for them. And then we're going to also pray for those who are, are seen to be Christians, but it's like they have taken the world on instead of God on. And everything they do is more like practically in the physical realm, not practically in the spiritual realm. And anything else that you want to pray for. When I say that we say the blood of Jesus three times, the name of Jesus three times, Father of the Holy Ghost three times. Now everybody will pray through, will pray to them, now seal it, and child of God, wonders will begin to happen. Now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, I declare your children free. I declare your children free. This is supernatural healing. So, Lord, they are not saying that they are not yet. The life of your people right now. Real God that our folks are not yet. Totally safe. And that, Lord, you are free to us. The anointing of God to work for Lord in your lives. And it's different. So, Lord, we will be made your children. now i want you i want you to put your hand on your heart as i'm about to Feel this prayer worldwide. Put your hand on your heart, wherever you are, like this, as I pray. Jehovah God, I stand in the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, the only one true God. As I pray worldwide, O oh God, you have anointed me, O oh God, with your Holy Ghost and with power. 
to set the captives free. Mm -hmm. And oh God, I gladly stand, oh God, and manifest you in this area. Amen. Any captivity that oh God is in the in, in your people and the children and their families and people around them. By the spirit of the living God, I command every foul negative spirit to take their dirty hands off right now. By the power of the Spirit of Christ, in Jesus' name, I lose them right now when they go. I can lose them right now when they go. I lose them right now when they go. I lose them right now when they go. I lose, right they go. I lose, right they go. I lose every family member of yours. I lose yes, you in the name of Jesus to flow the supernatural power, the practicality of God. Yes, I Lord. baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, with fire, with fire. Hallelujah. Lord, we need the Holy Ghost anointing for our home. It's the biggest anointing needed. Because Lord, you said that a prophet is not even accepted in their home. God, that anointing is needed in that to deliver our Jerusalem. I speak in the name of Jesus. By the power of Christ, the same power who yes. overcame Galilee where he came from. Even Amen. when he couldn't do more miracles, he went back and did more miracles. Amen. Lord, you never Amen. give up on anything. You would never give up on anything. Right Amen. now, I release the power of Christ. Amen. I release the power of Christ beyond the power Amen. of the prophet. The power of Christ upon you right now. That our homes will be set free. Our children will be set free. Our children will be set free. Our cousins will be set free. Our cousins will be set free. Our wives will be set free. Our wives will be free. Our girls will be free. Amen. 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 Jesus. God, I pray that the Lord they will have peace in the ear. The ear of God, the Lord will be their ears. Amen. 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 In Every Jesus, spirit Jesus that you walk around the children, the people of God, yes. and make them forget their benefits and block them from the benefits that the Lord has given you. I cast them out to the dry and waterless places. Can you go in the name of Jesus? Leave their territory. Leave your nations forget who God is. I drive you out. I pray for supernatural boldness upon the church. Supernatural boldness. We can be able to say it without fear. And just you will back your word. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, I pray for all men and women of God on this world, yes, all men and Amen. women of God worldwide, but Amen. that they are lifts in the name of Jesus, Amen. with the power of boldness of God, and the souls of the Lord will be saved yes. of God, in the yes. name of yeah. Jesus. Amen. Somebody's headache is leaving. Mm. There is a child of God, a man of God. God, your, your, this headache is leaving. A, a, a man or woman, God, the power of God, right? Yeah. The spirit of God is lifting it, and anointing of God is falling upon you. The power of the Almighty God is falling upon you. There is a surge of God. I, I see the dove upon your head right now. I give you glory. Somebody receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I empower the body of Christ alone to move forward and send soul for Jesus. Move forward and save souls for Jesus. I pray for spirit of awakening. The people will wake up for God. All oh, the children of God will wake up for God. Amen. No, no, no. It is not by might. It is not by power. But by the spirit of the living God. We are able to do all things to Christ. The anointed one. I elevate you right now. Awakening spirit. In the name of Jesus. I pray that every one of you. You will lay hands on the sick. And they shall be well. You pray for them. And the spirit of God. Will come Amen. upon them and they will be well. Amen. I drive out foul spirits, I drive out negative spirits, I drive out any spirit of oppression, I drive out Amen. any spirit of stress. I command Amen. them in the name of Jesus Amen. to leave yes, your Lord. environment Amen. right now. Yes, Lord. I impart the anointing upon your hand right now. Yes, when you stretch Amen. your hand in the spiritual realm, many Amen. things will begin to happen. I pray the power of God to touch your eye, that you begin to see things from very far, Amen. and great things will begin to 
happen. I pray that your steps will be ordered by the Lord God Almighty, by the man, the divine man they give it to me today as I flow in the liberty of the Lord. As the Lord speaks through my mouth, so let it be written and done, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you couldn't do, you'll be able to do it right now. And the Lord the Most High God, you begin to do it right now. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Somebody's feeling fire in your bones right now. Wave your hand. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Glory. And I give you praise. Hallelujah. Somebody, come on. Yes, if you believe everything that you have said, begin to shout hallelujah and amen. 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 Glory. Glory to God. Amen. Man of God, you can take over now. God bless. Praise the Lord.